Am I back on the road? No. No, I'm not. I'm not. I woke up this morning on my money shoe. Grab my sack, hit the streets, I'm on some other shoe. Got girl out of town with my other dude. Hit the mouth, blew it out on a bunch of shoes. They hit the club and turn the crowd to a march pit. They hit the club and turn the crowd to a What's going on, my YouTube people? Uh, D-Boy Stance here. Um, coming at you guys with, uh, a rant this week. I have a summer cold, so I figure now is the best time to talk to y'all because, well, I figure you're pretty honest when you're sick. So, my rant is about put up or shut up pretty much in trucking when I was on the road there were a lot of old school mad truckers you know what I mean like you could just sit in the truck stops and just listen to them for hours gripe or complain about how the industry is changing and And they only make 42 cent a mile. That is honestly just, you know, you just get used to kind of hearing that <clears throat> on the job. And I say to that, if you know better, do better. If you aren't happy with where you are, then leave. If you want to do better... If you don't want to be under someone else's authority, get your own and do what you want. I gave y'all all that just to give y'all this story. So, um, there is a driver that I work with, um, and this driver, you know, we cross paths essentially like when I'm coming in for my shift at night they're leaving for their shift in the day um you know we had had you know conversations just you know shooting the shit you know telling me about his family and where he's from and blah 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 well, you know, when we first met, you know, he let me know that he was originally from up north. Um, and he moved this way to be with one of his kids. All right, cool. You know, I would do the same thing, whatever. Um, and then he goes on to say, you know, I took a $30,000 pay cut coming down here. And, you know, working this job. You know, when I was up there, I was, you know, working for the pipelines, moving gas. Um, you know, and I was, you know, working third shift, but, you know, I was making hella money. Okay. You know, he told me this maybe two weeks before. Now, keep in mind, he said he works for the pipeline and was moving gas. So, you know, every day, essentially, he's been complaining about the job, just and how he's not happy and whatever else. So, last week sometime, I finally asked him, I was like, so why don't you just pull gas down here? Um, on the lot with my company, there are also two gas companies i was like so why don't you you know pull for such and such he was like oh i don't have my hazmat bitch way bitch way um how were you pulling gas up north without your hazmat i'm pretty sure that's illegal across the entire united states it's a federal thing it's not like you can just pull gas up there with no hazmat and not but I just nodded and said, 
Right. Sounds legit. Yeah, absolutely. I totally understand why you wouldn't pull gas. I mean, that would definitely hinder you from uh, driving for such and such. Now, my thing is, he complains every single day. And that he made so much more money up north. And that, you know, he could go back up there right now and make the same amount. My thing is, if you can do that, go. All of his kids are grown. Except the, well, he's grown, but apparently has some issues. But all of your children are grown. Take the child with you that, you know, may have issues with you. Don't complain about it. Like, just go. Do what you got to do. And I, I'm just using that essentially to say it's the same thing with anything, um, in particular to trucking. If you have something you want to do, do it. If you have somewhere you want to go go if something isn't making you happy if your company is doing some shady stuff and you're unhappy leave you have your cdl i promise you will find another job i can promise you that um you know it just bothered me one because he lied consistently and two because he's complaining you know he said he's been driving for 20 years first of all why are you and I in the same position? You're not talking about retiring. <clears throat> like, you're talking about continuing driving. And I could see if, you know, you got this job because you're about to retire and you just want to, you know, be at home, you know, close to the home, chilling for your last couple of years. One, this other guy that I work with is doing that exact thing. Like, he retired from a different trucking company and he's just working here <clears throat> for the next year and a half or something until his full retirement kicks in so um you know why are you working 19 20 years and you're making the exact same thing i'm making less actually because of the shift differential pay but you're you're complaining about it like i'm sorry if i if i am trucking for more than three years i'm going to get my own truck or i'll be driving for an owner operator or something i'm gonna steadily increase right now i can tell y'all this because y'all my peoples i'm studying right now to get my doubles and triples because you steadily increase. <clears throat> Don't stay stagnant. <clears throat> Don't, you know, become that guy at the truck stop that's just... Everyone knows that guy. Everyone has seen that guy. Don't be that guy. Um, I know this was all over the place, but pretty much put up or shut up. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to be in the industry anymore leave we have a shortage already let some new blood come in here and experience this stuff and if they want to stay then let them stay um <clears throat> i think that's all i gotta say i'm gonna give y'all a review on you know me being local pretty soon <coughs> but i just wanted to come to y'all and you know Gripe and moan for a, a little bit about that. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and all of that good jazz. And um, I'll holler at y'all later, man.